The A and G Diner. Wonder what the A and G stand for. Any ideas, Emily? Nope, I don't know either. Air and gravity, perhaps. Access and games. Aliens and Godzilla. Who knows? Is it important to know? I mean, why don't you just ask Nick? Oh, I will. But first, I need to eat. Wonder what's good here. Welcome, Mr. Agent. Hi, Olivia. Let me have your special for today. And some fresh coffee. Our special today is turkey. A turkey and gravy sandwich. Sound good? Oh, perfect. Emily, you eat something, too. It'll be on the FBI. Okay, then. I'll go all out. I'll have the T-bone steak. I usually can't order it because it's a little too expensive. Mrs. Olivia Cormack, I am here for Mr. Stewart's lunch. If it is ready, I thank you a bunch. Yes, of course. Just a moment. Here you go. The usual. One turkey, strawberry jam, and cereal sandwich. Sounds like the sinner's sandwich. Self-inflicted punishment to atone for past sins. He's setting an example. Mr. Francis York Morgan, you should try this wonderful lunch. It's more than a delicious, tasty crunch. So says Mr. Stewart. No, that's fine. I've just ordered my own lunch. Mr. Francis York Morgan, I, that is, Mr. Stewart's order is delicious, I should mention. And Mr. Nick Cormack is a genius for creating this perfection. So says Mr. Stewart. Still, I have a hunch I might not like it. You sure that sandwich is that good? Mr. Francis York Morgan. Making decisions based on intuitions is always a sign of bad FBI agents. So says Mr. Stewart. Harry, you're right. I'll give it a try. This is fantastic. It's really good. Olivia, I'm sorry, but can I change my order? I'll have what Harry is having. Nick and Diane. They hardly make the perfect couple, do they? Is it widely known that they go drinking together, just the two of them? To be honest, I don't pay attention to these things. Not into local gossip? Well, when I moved here, I was still in high school, and I kept wearing the same wild clothes from my school in Seattle. I was young back then. And before I knew it, there were rumors all over the school. She'll screw anyone. That's what they said. Totally unfounded, of course. Anyway, after that, I just sort of chose not to really trust gossip. I get where you're coming from. I used to dress like a hardcore punk rocker when I was in high school. <laughs> you? A punk rocker? <laughs> Nobody took my side. Even when I had good grades, people rejected me just because of what I wore. I was young back then, too. <laughs> Even still, I just don't see you as a punk rocker. <laughs> and you laugh? 
Look at you. No makeup on. Dressed in uniform, eating a steak for lunch. Okay, back to work. Let's talk to Nick. <laughs> 